How y'all doing? Yeah. Um, it is hard for me tonight, y'all, because I lost my grandmother. No, no, it's cool. She was wandering around the street. I was watching Martin. <laughs> this is the bad part. Like, I was watching my favorite episode, the one he was interrogating Tommy. Like, what does GTD stand for, Tommy? What does GTD stand for? Got the draws! <laughs> yeah, I was looking at that. Next thing you know, she was missing. The door was wide open. <laughs> and I felt so bad, man, because I went looking for her for, like, for a minute. <laughs> I had a show to come to. <laughs> And she was just wandering by herself, and I'm luckily, man, before I got up there, I got the text, they found her. <laughs> I can't be looking for all damn day. I mean, she can sit still somewhere. <laughs> and they found her in a restaurant. What happened was she's got that real estate dementia. So when she went to a restaurant, she pulled a number, and then they would call her number, and then she forget it's her number, and then she would pull a number. That went on for like six hours. <laughs> Yeah, whatever the text said, you know, I, I know that she got to be home or something to sit up better that long and never got no food. And you should not try it, man. Don't be looking like I'm a bad person. Not try it. I felt bad when I was up there calling her like a puppy. It's like I lost a straight dog. Big mama. Hey, big mama. You should have been my wife about this tall. <laughs> I feel bad, man. I'm sorry. I feel real bad about that. But it was, it was, it was, I'm glad that she's okay. No, and nothing's wrong with it. I'm, I feel sorry for it. I love my grandma. And dementia is a terrible thing. But it also be a good thing, though. You know how many times she gave me that same $20 over and over? I'm going to ask for some money and then I go wait for the TV show. I go back in there. Hey, can I get $20? She forgot about the whole person. And my grandma, 200 like that. Yeah. Dementia ain't that bad. <laughs> Perks, okay. Um, I just want to know, like, right now, in between religions, because no, just hear me out. I can't afford to be Baptist no more. <laughs> this is getting costly. This is like living in Nashville. You got so, okay. Sidebar. Sometimes living in Nashville, some will be all together because you can't afford to break up. Like, why y'all don't like each other? You just waiting on taxes to hit, and you out of there. <laughs> Like, it's getting too expensive to go to church. Look, man, I'm in there, and I had a 10. I put it in the collection plate, and I was grabbing change, and everybody was look at me all disgusted. And like, how did you grab change? Like, he said 10%. You don't know what I mean. <laughs> like, I don't like that. And then the pastor has a very nice car, Bentley. How you got a Bentley, and I'm hiding my car with friends' houses and taking the tag off so y'all don't get it till Friday. Now, you know what? I, I hate when rich people ask poor, poor people for money for the ones who are poor. Because you know, you go to McDonald's, they say, Well, do you want to contribute to the Make a Kids Wish Fund? And I'd be like, No. <laughs> I don't get that. You get, y'all McDonald's, you all, you say a billion, sir. You can't be bragging <laughs> on the billboard and be like, I'm doing this, I'm doing the math. I'm like, I know I spent at least 10 bucks here. <laughs> Y'all are loaded. You help. Why I gotta do it? Quit asking me to stop God's plan. He don't know what this plan is. Some people have to die for somebody else to live. Like, you can't be like it. Okay, another sidebar. Okay. Let me check this out. Now look, I fought it the other day. And like, you know, boy, so, and this thing's so bad, you blame, I blame my child. Like, yes, yeah, so, that's like this with her. Like, oh, she was her. She, you need to stop that in public. <laughs> I was disrespectful. It was me, bro. I, that was bad. It was one of the ones you know other people smell too, and you was like, oh, it wasn't me, it was my child. <laughs> oh, man. Y'all have kids? Everybody have kids? Yeah. Hey, look, you sound so happy to be out there. She's like, yeah, I have a dog on it. Yeah, you got a sit up for the night. Was it free? Family member? Family. Family? Look, you happy too, ain't you? Goddamn right. Yeah. This is a clean show, sir. I'm sorry. If I can't say it, you can't say it. He fell. Okay. Oh, man. I think it's so crazy. I'm at a point now as a parent. I don't care. <laughs> yeah. Like 
like, I have sticks. So the first three are grown. The last three, they are basically savages on survival. You know? <laughs> I just feed them and keep them alive. That's about all I do. Like, my daughter dresses. Yeah, you know, okay. I'm 42. I know other people here. Anybody close to that age? Look, you remember the village people? She looked like all five characters in one when she was. She, she got a hard hat, a little bag for being good in school. A tutu. I'm like, what are you, what are you doing? And I just look at her and I just tell them, let's go. I'm mean, not asking you to change. Why? When she gets to school, they look at her like she's some poor homeless hobo. I just tell them she's just expressing herself. You know, because kids, man, kids are very. Kids are disappointed sometimes. <laughs> we put a lot of money and we raise some bums. You know, kids don't want to tell nobody else. You don't ever want to say, what's your kid doing? You know, you talk to your homegirls on the phone and she bragging about her kid. You know, I thought I caught mine with some, with some stuff in his room. You know, you don't want to say it at all. Like, when did you know you could spend that Corvette money? That college money get your car. You, want. you ever let your kid be like, that debt coming sooner than it pop, than it's supposed to? Because my kid. I got, I got a son, and I, what I don't understand about boys, they are the nastiest <laughs> people on the face of So I just, for the first time, hopped in this car and ride with him. I didn't know he didn't have air. I don't ride in cars that don't have air, sir. I'm sorry, I'm at a point in my life now. I'm, I'm gonna be doing bad, but I ain't that bad. Like, you know how you messed up, but I ain't that messed up. <laughs> I'm poor, but I ain't that poor. <laughs> He has some umbrella. At first, it's dirty. It literally is just filthy. And then they all, this is how you know a dirty person. They always do stuff like, man, I ain't had a chance to clean it out. You just got somebody's house, you got somebody's car, and the first thing they start doing, they come with the excuse for you. Like, look, I ain't had a chance to clean it out. Nah, you just trifling. That's all they do. <laughs> Went up a girl's house one time. Didn't even get the mama because I went in her bathroom and roaches were selling apartments by the sink for 1100 <laughs> Talking about water for a property. I said, uh, you know it's bad you don't want to use the restroom with somebody's house, especially number one. <laughs> with a man, we didn't even got to get close to him. We can can fire from here. You know? <laughs> but when we said we don't want to use this, it, got to be bad. So, ladies, gentlemen, we gotta raise the kids a little bit better. We got to. I understand struggle. I was like, I didn't raise you like this. Oh, well, you found a new struggle. I don't know where he got this struggle from. That car was so hot. Let me tell you something. You know, if anybody been in the military, y'all been in the military, anybody in the military, if you have been, you know that some of them are trained for torture because they can sometimes get kidnapped and it might happen. You know, um, but that car. Two minutes, I would have told them, like, two minutes or whatever they wanted to know. <laughs> Lord, don't let me die here. Not right here, Lord. This ain't the place. I don't want to die in this nasty car. <laughs> Boy, y'all was, was fun. That gave me the red light. And they didn't expect me to be late because of black, so I got to make sure. <laughs> the stage on time. I want y'all to right now. If you got Instagram, take out your phone. I am Slick Baby Comedy. It's Slick Baby Comedy. It's simple. Slick Baby and Comedy. So you ain't paying attention. Sorry. Slick Baby. <laughs> man, thank y'all for having me. I'll bring your Drew back up here. This is my man. He's a good person, man. Thank y'all for coming. Out. Good time.